What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out 10 botches that resulted in serious punishment for a WWE wrestler. Vince was uh, very, uh, very strict when it came to botches and, and things of that nature. We've seen and heard the reports of how he would be quite upset depending on what the botch was or pertained to. And I can see if there was something uh, that resulted in maybe um someone getting hurt or maybe the match have to, has to be changed or you know it, it it revealed something that it wasn't supposed to reveal i could see him getting definitely upset once you walk back into gorilla position and him probably uh yelling at you or maybe even finding you for the particular botch so we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on our channel let's do this thing Botches are unfortunately a natural part of pro wrestling, but certain botches have resulted in wrestlers being seriously punished. No wrestler is immune to botches, but when that botch is serious, a WWE management are left with no choice but to punish that specific wrestler in a manner mm -hmm. they see fit. Join us now as Wrestling Me looks at 10 WWE botches that resulted in serious punishment for a wrestler. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Every time. Number 10, Alex Riley. Now upon Alex Riley turning on the maze in 2011, it looked like Riley was going to be... This was, and I have to pause it right here, when he finally turned on the maze, people actually cared. People were into this. And then it, it just, it didn't go nowhere. One of the future stars of the company, Riley would defeat The Miz at the Capital Punishment pay-per-view, and it was reported at the time that he was set for a major push. However, on the raw after Money in the Bank, Riley and The Miz collided once again, and the finish of the match was heavily botched. It was a clear lack of communication as Riley began to throw random punches, and it was evident that the original finish had gone completely wrong. Even the referee Scott Armstrong looked insanely confused as to what was happening. Following the botch, a lot of blame appeared to fall on Riley, as it would never be the same again. Oh. His push was instantly cancelled, and he was dramatically moved down the card. Damn. Number nine, Shinsuke Nakamura. When Shinsuke arrived, that's crazy. One botch essentially ruined his push. Damn. Because it seemed like he had high promise after he was done with the Miz, but once again, he never went nowhere. The WWE's main roster in 2017, he was set for a push into main event picture. WWE had plans for Nakamura to face Jinder Mahal at the SummerSlam pay-per-view, and it was a substantial rumor that WWE were considering making Nakamura the new WWE champion. Sadly, WWE's high hopes for Nakamura were put in jeopardy when he accidentally dropped John Cena right on his uh, head during a match that. between the two on SmackDown. This occurred when Nakamura yep. delivered an exploder suplex, oh! and once the match was over, he was rather apologetic towards Cena, and while Cena was willing to forgive him, the same can't be said for former WWE yep. Chairman Vince McMahon. McMahon was furious with Nakamura, and fans believe that this specific botch was where McMahon decided that he would not be winning the WWE title. Thankfully, yeah, yeah, I, I remember that. They had a great match, but when he landed, I, obviously it wasn't intentional, but. And I'm sure John wouldn't have had a problem with him eventually being the WWE champion. But Vince, that's his golden boy. You, you can't hurt John. What's wrong with you, Nakamura? <laughs> that's exactly what it was. And, yep, that's that sounds about right. Hopefully, he was able to win back McMahon's faith and he would win the 2018 Royal Rumble. But McMahon never pulled a trigger on Nakamura winning WWE's top prize. Nope. Number 8, Sim Snooker, a.k.a. Deuce. Now, most fans know Sim Snooker for his time in the tag team Deuce oh, and Dominic, remember but them. is also known for a WrestleMania botch that almost resulted in serious injury. One of the most memorable spots in the classic match between Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker at WrestleMania 25 saw Taker perform his signature dive over the top rope, as Snooker, who was posing as a cameraman, was supposed to catch him. Snooker failed to oh. catch The Undertaker, meaning that one of the most iconic wrestlers of all time nearly landed right on his head. The blame instantly fell on Snooker, as he had one job in the match and he failed oh, in the biggest damn. way imaginable. Oh, damn. That was he him? He would never be used in a substantial role ever again, and just a short while after the infamous botch, Snooker would be released from the company, never to return. Damn, Number I didn't seven, even know Perry that. Satin. And whilst Perry Satin's run in WWE failed to live up to expectations, he was involved in one of the most controversial matches in WWE <laughs> history in 2001. 
Saturn would take on Mike Bell on a show called Metal, and during the match, Bell would botch several basic spots, including a hip toss and an arm drag. The arm drag resulted in Saturn landing right on his head, and instead of writing it off as a bad day at the office, Saturn completely snapped. He delivered real legitimate oh. punches to the base of Bell, and he threw Bell out of the ring with so much ferocity Whoa. that Bell landed right on his head. This was completely reckless, and WWE management weren't pleased with Saturn's outburst. But yeah. instead of outright firing him, they would decide to give him the infamous Moppy character, which saw him fall in love with an actual mop. While so I remember this. Now it makes sense. That's, that's some Vince shit. We're not gonna let you go. No, 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 no. We'll do something worse. We'll ruin your fucking character. We'll ruin your gimmick to the point where no one even will care about you if we do let you go. Damn. Nah, just let me go. Or find me. Do not have me falling in love with a goddamn mop. That, oh, that's awful. The storyline was indeed designed to punish and embarrass Saturn. The angle resulted in him receiving some of the biggest reactions of his entire WWE tenure. Which is crazy, six, but still not. Miz. I'm good it's on that. It's always been an urban legend in WWE that Triple H has a personal issue with The Miz. This escalated in 2012 when it was reported that a botch from The Miz resulted in him being chewed out by the game backstage. The Miz failed to catch our truth when Truth attempted a slingshot somersault during a six-pack challenge mm. on Raw. It was a miracle that Truth wasn't serious hurt. The moment The Miz came back through the curtain, he was held to account by Triple H. Dave Meltzer discussed the incident during an edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. As Meltzer added, Triple H gave Miz a tongue lashing backstage about not catching him. Miz was a big favorite of management a year ago because his notoriety was such from real world that they got so much publicity when he won the title that nobody else in the company could have gotten. Being chewed out backstage is a huge punishment for a talent, as this type of action usually takes place with an earshot of other wrestlers, mm -hmm. meaning that The Miz would have suffered serious embarrassment. Y'all saw how Brock just threw that title at Vince, like, I don't give a shit about this? Y'all saw that? <laughs> <laughs> Only Brock could do that. I, 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 I ain't skip that. 5. Shane McMahon the 2022 Men's Royal Rumble received extensive criticism from fans. The Rumble lacked surprises, suspense, and the strong presentation of Shane McMahon was incredibly frustrating. Yeah. McMahon's performance in the match was lackluster, and he would even botch several spots, including his own elimination. Shane was supposed to be clotheslined over the top rope by the eventual winner Brock Lesnar, but McMahon couldn't get over the ropes. It was awkward and heightened how much of a disaster the match was. McMahon was blasted by his own father mm -hmm. Vince McMahon, and his creative input in the match as well as his overall performance resulted in the prodigal son being let go by WWE. And Number 4. Punches. Mickey James and Mickey James is one of the most decorated female stars of all time, but one match in 2009 resulted in WWE losing faith in her. James would wrestle Gail Kim on Raw, and the finish of the match was heavily botched, with James botching several moves, oh, including no. a mid kick finishing move. When James got backstage, she was told off by WWE management, but this wasn't the end of her punishment. Just two months after the incident, she would be dropping the Divas title to Jillian Hall. Hall was virtually a novelty act in WWE, and she wasn't even <laughs> remotely credible. What made the situation worse was that the match lasted just over a minute, meaning it destroyed James's credibility. Damn. The match was evidently punishment for James's poorly received yeah, match with him, and it was incredibly petty for WWE to yeah. present their top female talent in this manner. Yeah, that's kind of... That's that's petty, bro. You don't do that. Yeah, she had a bad showing. Everyone has a bad showing. That one was pretty bad. But you don't bot. You don't screw over your champion. Granted, this list lets you know they didn't care about. But it was the it was the butterfly championship. They did not give a fuck about that championship, bro. Uh, or that division. Number three, Mr. Kennedy. We the know WWE about this one. had big plans for Mr. Kennedy. He was insanely charismatic and was on paper the perfect WWE superstar. When Kennedy returned from injury in May of 2009, he took part in a huge 10-man tag match on Raw, and this would end up being Kennedy's last ever WWE matchup. In the match itself, Kennedy would botch a back suplex to Randy Orton, and this botch resulted in Orton complaining to WWE management, and Kennedy was subsequently released from the WWE. Mm. Orton claimed that Kennedy dropped him on his head, but Kennedy claimed that wasn't the case and Orton had simply jumped too high for the suplex. Mm. Orton's complaint was backed up by John Cena, and with Orton and Cena being two of the biggest stars in the company, yep. Vince McMahon simply couldn't afford to ignore their grievance. 
Number two, Roman Reigns. Politicking. In 2013, reports surfaced that the Shield had major heat backstage. This heat predominantly fell on Roman Reigns as Reigns reportedly had an argument backstage with WWE veteran Randy Orton. It was reported that Reigns had botched a spot with Orton at a house show, and when Orton called Reigns out on the botched spot, Reigns stood up for himself. And this was ultimately fed back to Vince McMahon, who was furious. McMahon wanted to bury the Shield on TV, and this was around the time when the Shield's unbeaten streak was ended on a random episode of SmackDown, and it wouldn't be far-fetched to say that the two situations um, were linked. And number one, Kofi Kingston. Which is crazy to think about, considering that was the guy that they were gonna, that he was gonna push to the moon. You would think he would care a little bit more. I don't know if he had, I mean, he had to have known that was the guy they were gonna go with for the future but it, it's just so funny how things have you know come full circle and now whatever roman wants he gets it doesn't matter what it is whatever he wants he gets a decade before kofi kingston would become wwe champion they had plans to make kingston into a certified main eventer mm -hmm. however a botch finish to a match with randy orton and john yep. cena resulted in kingston losing his push instantly yep. during a triple threat match between the three aforementioned talents kingston forgot the finish and orton didn't react in the best manner no, he kingston didn't. was supposed to be pinned following a punt kick but Kingston rose to his feet, meaning that Orton had to improvise and deliver an RKO. Orton would scream at Kingston in the middle of the ring, yep. infamously shouting stupid, stupid at Kingston. Mm -hmm. This botch was enough for WWE management to completely lose their faith in him, and a planned Money in the Bank win was cancelled. And ultimately, Kingston was relegated to the mid-card for the next decade. Which but is have it, folks, wild, bro. One slip up. Then give him a desk hole. And that's why we were hoping that they would bring that up. Like, they brought it up when Kofi Kingston was feuding with Randy Orton, but it didn't go nowhere. You was ho I was hoping they they would bring it up and it would really lead to a pretty good feud between them. The feud was lackluster. It should have been much better because they could have really played that up. You're part of the reason why I didn't become champion because you pulled politics. They didn't have to go into the finish of the match and break kayfabe too much but you could say you pull politics leave it at that you politic you petition to make it seem as if i wasn't ready to be the guy you know what i'm saying and they could have really played that up they didn't as much as we was hoping to honestly kofi kingston title run was not that good because i think it was the opponents that he was facing and also he still had the had this the new day vibes going on he's just happy go lucky and it's like i want kofi to get a little bit more serious he did a little bit with the randy orton feud but to me i felt like it was just all about jokes and stuff like that until he get went up against brock lesnar and then he got destroyed in like a few seconds so the moment the lead up to it the moment at wrestlemania will always be remembered the actual title reign itself not so much so but comment down below let me know do you guys know any other stories where uh, a particular wrestler botched made a mistake or whatnot and vince and wwe they pretty much took it out on him and, and you know he pushed them or even let him go let me know some other infamous stories that relate to a wrestler botching up something messing up something and vince not having it but i appreciate all the love and support you guys for showing on our channel roll to 150k and i am still your undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world and also i am your in the clutch world heavyweight champion appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace